Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Mimi G and I am back with a tutorial. Now this is another viewer's request and it's a throwback to a tutorial that I made in 2011, which in social media, YouTube time, that's like long time. So when you watch that video, and I think it's actually still, still on my channel, if you go look for it, I'll like, you know what, I'm gonna link it for you so you can go watch it. It's so bad. <laughs> you can't see nothing, it's grainy. We didn't have HD, I don't even know what camera I was using. It was just, it's just not good compared to what we have now. So somebody said, hey, Mimi G, can you please remake that video? So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna turn a pair of jeans into a skirt. Now, in the original video, I will say that I used two pair of jeans to create a maxi length denim skirt. But when I looked at those pictures, I was like, why was I wearing a maxi length denim skirt? <laughs> I don't know, but y'all made it and y'all wore it along with me. We had that moment, that moment has passed, okay? So we're going to make a knee length or above denim skirt. Let's get started. All right guys, let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna say there are so many videos of doing this on YouTube. And apparently from what I've heard is a lot of them don't go step by step and so many of them use glue instead of sewing. They're like, no sew. Listen, if you use glue, I don't care how strong that glue is and you move around too much, that shit is gonna come undone. So don't do the glue. We're actually gonna stitch this down, okay? So listen, you're gonna need a pair of jeans I think one of the key things to make this look cool is to pick a pair of jeans, one that maybe you don't wear anymore or that you don't mind maybe converting it into a skirt, but the details of the denim itself is gonna make the skirt really cool, right? So if it has patch pockets or if it's a fly front pair of jeans, that would be fire. Um, but you know, like patches like this one has, right? So sort of those little elements really add a lot to turning your jeans into a skirt and the fact that we're gonna have a raw hem. So you're gonna need a ruler, you're going to need a pair of scissors or a rotary cutter. Um, I'm gonna be using both and, and something to mark with. So either a fabric pen or a chalk roller, either one will do. You are going to fold your jeans in half so that you can mark where we're going to cut, okay? And listen, you can make this as short as you want. If you want it up here, that's on you. If you want it mid thigh, cool. If you want it to the knee, like whatever length preference is for you, that's where you're going to sort of mark it. So place the jeans sort of on your body and take a look where you sort of want that hem to be. So I want to use as much of this as possible, but most importantly, I want to use the tear on my jeans. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm cutting below that, okay? So I'm just gonna place my ruler and I'm just gonna mark just that I know where I'm cutting. Now you can take your rotary cutter and you can cut through. And do both legs at one time, just makes it a little easier, a little faster. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our inseam. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pair of scissors. Now what's really key is that you want to cut really close to your stitching because for the front, we wanna keep this stitching in place. So what you're gonna do is you're just going to open up your leg, take your pair of scissors and you're going to cut, making sure that you don't cut through where the seam and the stitching is, but really close to it. You're gonna cut through your crotch and then down the other leg. So now we've opened it up. Now, two things, we're going to cut our crotch, but I wanna make sure that you know not to throw away the bottom part of your jean because you're going to use that to fill in this section, okay? So now we're gonna cut through our crotch and you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to cut just along the edge. You're gonna cut enough so that you can fold it onto itself. So you're gonna lay it flat. And 
and you're going to fold over. And if you have enough to fold, you've cut enough, okay? If you're getting a bubble, you need to cut a little bit more into your crotch. You're going to do the same thing in the back. Okay, you're going to lay it. And you see, this is what I'm talking about. You have like a little bubble. We need to cut more until it lays nice and flat with no bubble. Now, once we have this done, we can go ahead and stitch down and then we're going to add the bottom portion of our leg to close out the opening. Okay, now the first thing we do is we're going to stitch this back down, right? We're, but we're going to just hold off for just a second. I wanna show you how to open up your leg. So I want to also use this really cool seam line for the center. So I'm going to cut, making sure, just like we did before, that I'm just cutting along the line. So now we have a really big piece of fabric, right? So obviously if you slide it up under here, and I'm just gonna visually show you. And then we close this out, and then we cut at our hem. You see you end up with that little fill-in part. Now, you could get creative if you wanted to use, like let's say you had a second pair of jeans in a darker wash that you're not using, or maybe you've trimmed off to make shorts or whatever. You can use the darker piece to fill in this section. I've seen that done, it looks really cool. Um, also, I wanted to mention that because we kept this little stitching in place that we had already on our jeans, this gives us a really clean finish on the front. However, in the back, the jeans don't have that, right? You just have a cut edge. You have two options. One, you can go through the trouble of pressing the hem down so you would turn under a quarter inch and press it, and you would top stitch a clean edge over this when we get to that part, or you can do what I'm gonna do and leave it raw and stitch it because once you wash the skirt, this is gonna fray and it's gonna look really cool. All right, so we're gonna head to the machine. Now two things, you wanna make sure that you're using a denim needle so that it's nice and thick and it's gonna go through your denim. The other thing is you wanna find a thread that's going to match the existing stitching on your jeans. So if you're using something that has brown or yellow um, stitching, you wanna use something as close to that as possible. Mine is a little gray. So I'm just gonna be using gray. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this to the sewing machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin first my front. And like I said, you wanna just make sure it's laying nice and flat. And I'm just gonna pin to hold it in place. And then turn it around, do the same thing on the back. Make sure that you're only um, pinning the front to the front and the back to the back. Lay it nice and flat. Okay, once you have it pinned, we're gonna head to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch following our existing stitching lines. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you're only working on the top. Don't accidentally sew the bottom of your skirt. So just open it up. If your machine has a removable arm, even better. You're gonna go ahead and start where the opening is, you're gonna place your needle, trying to match your stitching that's already on there as much as possible, but don't worry about it too much. You're gonna back stitch to start. And just go slow and you're going to just sew over the top of the stitching that you already see. Now when you get to this part, if it's really thick like mine, go ahead and trim that off. And remember, you're using a denim needle, but it's also very bulky, so take your time. And then you're going to pivot and you're going to sew up until we made that cut. Then you're gonna backstitch. Okay, you're gonna turn it over. You're gonna do the same thing on the back. Okay guys, now that we have this stitched down, we can go ahead and fill in that empty space. So you're gonna grab the remaining part of your leg that you cut open and you're just gonna slide it on the inside. 
Now I'm going to center my seam. So I'm going to try and center it with my skirt just because I don't know. I like things to be symmetrical. <laughs> Okay, once you have it the way that you want, then you're gonna go ahead and pin this. So just go slow. You wanna pin only through that layer and the, the little insert. You don't wanna pin through the back of your skirt. Now obviously the more pins you have, the easier it is so nothing shifts on you. But you're the boss, applesauce. Do whatever you want. Okay, now that you have the front pinned down, you can go ahead, turn it around, and pin the back the same way. All right, guys, just like you did before, we're going to stitch following that little stitching line and then down the other side. Back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Now turn it around and then go down the other leg. Back stitch. You're gonna do the back the same way. Okay, now you're gonna turn your skirt right side in, wrong side out. And we're gonna trim off all this extra stuff. So you're just gonna go in and you're going to cut, leaving about a half inch seam allowance. Don't cut too close to your stitching, okay? Leave at least a half an inch. Now you can cut off this extra two from the overlapping. Just make sure you leave, like I said, at least a half an inch. Cut off any loose threads. Okay, you're gonna do the same on the front. You're gonna go ahead and trim off, leaving again at least a half an inch. Okay, you can go ahead and turn your skirt to the right side. Now all you need to do is trim off this excess that's on your hem. So you can trim it off now, then try it on. If you want it shorter, then after it's finished and you want it a little shorter, all you need to do is just cut because the inside, the insert is already in. So if you cut, let me just say, if you shorten this after you've made it, you try it on, you're like, you know what? I want a little sexier and I want to make it shorter, then go ahead and cut, but then go back and double back stitch where you cut to make sure that your skirt doesn't come undone because this has a lot of tension, which is why I don't have any idea how anybody who glued this on walks around life, okay, because it's not gonna stay. So make sure that you backstitch. Now I'm just gonna take my scissors and literally just cut. You're gonna do the same thing to the back. Now you can try on your skirt. Give it a good wash so that all of your edges fray and you are all done. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy tutorial. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow at Mimi G Style and at Sew It Academy if you want to learn to sew and leave me a comment. Until next time, peace.